Just finished work, it's been a long shift at work. I got a phone call off my son Ali who said, Dad, make sure you have nothing for iftari. I went, why is that? He said, Dad, I'm gonna be knocking up some smash burgers. Smash burgers? Ali's gonna make some homemade smash burgers for me to review. Asalaamu Alaikum. Right, so there it goes. Uh, Surprise, surprise, surprise. Ali is knocking up some smash burgers. He says, Dad, do you want a double? I went, no, I want a triple. Triple smash burger. That is what we're going to be having. Get my keys on, go up. Assalamu alaikum. How you doing, guys? You all right? Right, where's the main man? Where's the main man, Ali? Oh, he's in the kitchen. He's in the kitchen. The burgers are getting prepared. What's happening, Ali? What's going on, man? What's on the menu, pal? Smash burgers. Smash burgers. <laughs> Have a look at these bad boys. Oh, hey, oh look at that. They're not weighed up, like, they're just doing that, eh? So, the, all right, okay, so it's these, I've not had nothing to eat for my iftari, so these better, these bad boys better be worth it. How come you got six there? I'm only gonna have three. I'm only one for that, so. What's the ratio? Uh, 80% meat, 20% meat. You're turning into a bit of a chef, aren't you? And what's that? That's an Aldi bun, isn't it? Yeah. We've got an Aldi brioche bun. Aldi bun. <laughs> Hell means chilli. Right, okay then. So... <clears throat> what have you got? Have you got the pan ready? Eh? Oh my God, he's putting the oil. <laughs> this is going to be fun, I'll tell you. I can't believe you actually going to be knocking up some smash burgers. Not be on that crack burger level, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Still old mate, still old Let's try it out. They look pretty good. <laughs> What's up, Ali? You struggling? No. We get me hat off as well. Yeah. He's thinking, he's thinking, he's thinking. No, we don't need you, Mary John. <laughs> These are Ali's smash burgers. These are not for you. Everybody stay well away. My wife's not going to interfere. No one's interfering because Ali said he's going to make me some smash burgers. Hold on. Hey, up. Can hear that sizzling. Go on. If anybody uh, from uh, Smash Official is watching, anybody from Legends, Mr. T's, these are you, how you make smash burgers. What, what are you going to do with that? I need the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Seaweed. Salt and pepper is there. What are you going to do? What are you doing now? Smash on the burgers. He's smashing the... I'm out of your way, don't worry. Oh, yo, just be careful with that plate, man. Your mum will kick off. He's supposed to use a plate. You not really, guys, but... You've got to use what you've got, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you don't burn your hands out. Pressure's on, that's right. Pressure's on. They're all watching, guys. Uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic Ramadan. Uh, and I hope you guys are all well. We did a home vlog, uh, the last one we put up, and a lot of people have been saying, look, TFT, can we have a few more home vlogs? Uh, yep, that's sizzling. Now, lift it up. Let's see what it looks like. Not yet. Edges to be crispy. You want the edges to be crispy? Go on, then. Let's have a look. Oh, go on, now. Not too bad. What's that weird? I'm, I'm sure it's got to be round, Al. That is round. Is it? Uh, Let's have a look at the sizzle. Oh, look at that. I am absolutely starving. I've not had no to eat. Because Al said, Dad, make sure you come home and try me smash burgers. So here we are. I don't think I've ever, ever seen, since the channel started, anybody making smash burgers with a Pyrex plate. <laughs> He's having a job here, lad. I tell you. He's pulled out the flipper. It's going to be time for Sehri by the time we finish here, Al. Bit of salt. Speak, tell us what you're doing. Bit of salt. You go on. Salt, bit of pepper, a bit, bit of seasoning. Bit of seasoning. Gordon Ramsay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Ali Ramsay. Right, guys, so not as thin as we'd like them, but. Uh, They'll do. They'll have to do. Oh, I like that flip there, Al. Oh, another one. That's a deadly flip. Let's get a close-up of these. Out of the way, Al. Oh, mate, they look meaty. They look wholesome. Oh, they are steaming. They smell absolutely amazing, Al. I will say that. It's a bit thick. 
a bit thick, but well, never mind, as long as it's cooked in the middle. I don't want food poisoning, that's the main thing. What's next, Al? So I'm going to toast the buns. You're going to toast these buns? Yeah. yeah Paddy, what are you doing? Your daddy's making me smash burgers. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Your daddy's going to uh, poison your granddad. Oh, look at that. They, they might be a bit too crispy, them, Al. They look as though they're burnt, man. No, no. Are you sure? Don't tell a granny how to suck eggs. Oh, yeah. Right, are you going to toast these buns? We're toasting the buns now, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like I said before, all you mega burger places out there, take a leaf out of Ali's book. This is how you make smash burgers. There you go. Hope you washed your hands, out. Oh, no, I forgot. What, what, what do you mean you forgot, you cheeky? <laughs> go on. Look at that, sizzling away. Check the buns. Buns, buns, buns looking all right. She gives a look then, how's it looking? Uh, not done yet. So, we add it to the bun. Go on now. How are they looking, TFT? How are they looking? Yeah, it's looking all right, actually. Move that bun out of the way so I can get a good picture of it. That's it, get it out of the way, let's have a look. Oh mate, oh mate, oh mate, that's looking banging. That is looking banging. I didn't want no onions, I didn't want no tomatoes. That's, that's not a bad effort, Al. Yeah, that's down in case the gas bill goes up. Oh, I tell you what, that's not a bad effort at all, Al, to be honest right. with you. Yeah. Right, what are you going to do with that? You're going to put that on the top now. No, no, hold on, that's enough yeah. burger sauce. That's enough chili meal. Put that bun oh, on top. Ready to drop the top? Drop the lid. Drop the lid. Oh, banging, banging, banging. Look at that jaw, oh, mate. Now, oh. what we're going to do is... What are you going to do now? Add some tin foil to it. What for? Just to smoke it out. What do you mean smoke it out? What do you mean smoke it out? There's no better feeling than unwrapping a smash burger from tin foil. All right. Go on. Well, yeah. Has that tin foil been used before? <laughs> no, look at that. Hold it up. Let's have a look at it. Don't like a professional. Now it's time... <clears throat> to actually go ahead. Oh, look at the size of that, actually. Give it a look. Wow. Right, let's put it to the test out. Let's see what it tastes like. Right, the time has arrived to try out the burger, which my son Ali has made. And I don't know what to, I'm gonna give this burger a name. I'm gonna go ahead and call it the Ali Shuffle Burger. One bite and you are shuffling. How's it looking, Al? It's looking banging. Well, you bound to say that because you made the damn thing, so look at it. So it's, it's pretty high up. I mean, did you wear the patties? No, no, no just done by eye. Just done by eye. Uh, let's open up the lid. Well, you can't open up the lid. Well, uh, let's open the lid. Oh, oh, look at that. That's looking pretty decent, Al. Anyway, first things first, when we open our fast, uh, we always preferably open it with a date. So we're going to go ahead. Preferred food. If you don't know much about Ramadan, you should always open up your fast with a date. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll wait long enough for this. Let's go. One bite, one bite. Wow. You know what? Al, I'm impressed. Yeah. I'm very, very impressed. Not just with the burger, it's really meaty, it's wholesome. Yeah. It's got a fantastic taste. But what's really impressed me is the Aldi bun. You know what I mean? That bun is working well with that burger. Yeah. I thought it might have been a bit uncooked in the middle, but it's not. It's cooked all the way through that. And that cheese, I don't know what, what have you used Aldi cheese as well? Aldi cheese, cheapskate. Mate, Aldi cheese. Cheapskate. But it tastes alright actually. And that lettuce, just the right proportion, not too much, not too less. Mm. I prefer the lettuce guys, but to be fair. Wow. Very, very impressed, Al. And that Hellman's um, chili, meal. Chili, so chili meal, it works well with that burger. Normally, think, normally you go with burger sauce, but burger sauce. But I think that Hellman's chili sauce is it chili? Uh, chili meal. Chili meal 
To be fair, I'm very, very impressed. I didn't realize that was such a good combination. Absolutely amazing. Right, also on the table, made by my wife. This was made by Ali. Absolutely amazing that I'm very, very impressed. Thank you. I think I'm thinking of opening up a burger shop. Me and I would call it TFT Burgers. And if we can sell burgers like that, we'd be smashing, not just the burgers, but we'd be smashing it big time. Now then, my wife, has also prepared a small bit of chips. I told her not to make too many because I don't want to overfill uh, iftari because we've got to get up again in the morning to eat. So she's made samosas. Mirijana, these are meat samosas or vegetable? Meat. Meat samosas? Meat. Yeah, meat samosas. Okay, home cooked meat samosas. Let's give them a whirl. Mmm. They're like a small fun size kind of size on them they're not massive but the filling in proportion to the samosa the filling is absolute oh and i tell you what i keep telling my wife to chill out on the spice but she likes the spicy foods so they are spicy very very spicy now this here now another another favorite for ramadan it's uh it's like a date milkshake You've got dates in it, you've got almonds in it. Is it you can put ice cream in as well? Yeah. You've got ice cream in it and you've got milk in as well. So it's like a cool, refreshing, date kind of milkshake. And I tell you what, it's absolutely amazing. It really cools your insides down. Works well in the summertime when you are fasting. Now, we also got some uh, bargies. These are potato bargies, potato and onion bargies. What we call a pakora. The onion bhaji is like a round uh, bowl kind of shape, but the pakoras are more flat. They're like fritters. Let's see what these taste like. Oh, actually, we got some chutney out. Your mum's made some homemade chutney. Is it spicy? Yeah. Why is it everything that your mum makes is spicy, spicy, spicy? Right, take a look at it. That's fresh mint with uh, peppers, uh, with chilies, onions, everything minced up. Let them come on, Dete. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. Let's let that pakora drench itself in that mint. Take a look at that. I do apologize about the noise in the background. That's just my grandson kicking off, making a racket. Wow, amazing. When it comes to home cooked food, you always know it's going to be fresh, you know it's going to be tasty and when you come to my house, you know it's going to be spicy as well. Wow. Now then, homemade chips, homemade fries I'd say Al, not really thick. Try them out. Wow. We're going to be finishing off with some dessert. Now, have a look at this dessert. It is an Asian favorite. You got strawberries, you got grapes, you got banana, you got apple, pears, pears as well. What is the official name for it, though? It's called fruit chart. Fruit chart. And what I like to do with fruit chart is get myself some Almir double cream. With walnut here. Walnuts as well. It's got walnuts in as well. And I just like to go ahead and. Pour it over the fruit chart. <laughs> now this acts as a really nice dessert. So if you haven't tried this guys, I would definitely give this fruit chart a whirl. You can see it's easy to make at home as well. It's not gonna be hard. Right, let's give it a whirl. Have a look at that out. That is very, very healthy, minus the double cream. Very refreshing. Then you get the crunch of them walnuts as well. What I like about it, though, at the bottom, you get all the fruit juices. The fruit juices from the grapes, from the bananas, and it's like a fruit cocktail. It is like a fruit cocktail, and they put a bit of masala in as well to give it a bit of a kick. Not too much of a kick. Chaat masala. Chaat masala. I do apologize. That is my wife correcting me once again. Right. Allah. You guys are all waiting for a score on Ali's shuffle burger. I was very, very, very impressed with that bad boy. 
really impressed. Uh, I know Ali wants to open a burger place in the future. He's always said, Dad, I'd love to have my own burger. Hey, up, son, what are you doing? Are you interrupting my review? Now then, here you go. So, take a look at that burger once again now. I'm going to give it another one bite and then I'm going to give it a... Oh, actually, I've, I've, I've not, I like the way you've toasted the buns as well. Mm -hmm. They've got that crispy side of, kind of edge on them as well. <coughs> wow. Mmm. Huh. Mm. Right, it's cold time. For the Ali Shuffle Burger. I'm very, very impressed. And I'm going to give it a high score. Why? Because I'm impressed with it. I'm surprised. When Ali phoned me up at work and said, Dad, don't have nothing to eat at work. Come home. And I'm going to make you some smash burgers. I thought I better get myself some Gaviscon on the way home. But you know what? Very, very impressed. I'm going to give that a solid 9 out of 10 now. Solid 9 out of 10. Homemade burger. I'm not going to score the wife's cooking because she's sat present. And I don't want to be upsetting her. Anyway, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the home vlogs a lot of people have been asking for them so i'm thinking in ramzan i'm going to be dropping a couple more of these also there's going to be a couple more coming from where was it oldham got a couple more to put on and i've still got a review from iran as well which i will be putting on guys we nearly got that ten thousand mark so please get behind us we just topple the nine thousand mark we are looking towards the ten thousand mark and we are looking for your love and your support which is there and i hope it's ever present only one more thing left to say to my son Ali, the Shuffle Burger, my wife, to all the kids, and my grandson, you guys have all been officially home cooked, food troll certified. And we shall see you guys for the next one.